Hey everybody, Whip here, and welcome on back to Building with Whip, where we are here in the Minecraft 1.16 survival world, and oh my gosh, I am so very excited to be back in this world. I get in these points, folks, where I just get so hooked on one series over another, and it trades all the time, and it, everything like that, and right now, I am just absolutely hooked on building inside of this world here again. I think I'm just super inspired to be working back over here in the city, finally getting back to this project that I just love so very much. And I think it's such a cool feature inside of this world. This entire area that we are living in right now is just absolutely amazing. Last episode, however, we spent some time bringing together the entire world. We might as well say that much right there. And that led to a, an absolutely massive massive map room hopefully we can line that up there perfectly and we did and oh my gosh look at the size of that one right there you can see our little port city right up there in the far far corner of that little point where the crosshair is right now that's where we are standing over there and the castle we recently finished up is all the way over there and everything else way way down here at the bottom we have our ruined castle then all the way down here can't even see it it's so far down the map we have the 1.14 village transformation project that i just love and oh my gosh there's so much area around here that needs to be filled up with some stuff and a lot of people made comments about how this area right here that we are working in is actually a part of the swamp which a lot of people have been wanting to see a part, more of like a slums environment over here and i get that i totally understand that but i think instead of doing it right here we have this amazingly awesome swamp biome over here that I think would be so fun to turn into a custom marshland swamp biome and go everything like that. And it'd be so very cool to turn this into like a slums area right here of in between the castle right there to the city over here. I think that'd be a perfect spot for it. But for today's episode, the main project I would like to work on is I want to build some dry docks ar along here. I think it'd be super sweet to get these things hooked up ready to go and kind of finish out this area flush it out so we got a lot more digging that needs to be done in today's episode and i still have all these shulker boxes from stone and everything that we got from digging out that last hole in the last episode but i'm so very excited for this one but folks what we really really got to do here first is i've been flying back and forth from here to the fantasy area getting a bunch of resources and at this point i am over it we need to get another hub set up. Just a simple way that we can move a bunch of things back and forth. So I want to get all of our different portals linked up inside these areas. So we got a portal down here. We got one up in the Nordic Village. We got one back in the Desert Town. There's one all the way down in the lower, lower area. And then we've got the one inside of the End Stronghold and all those things. We got to link them all up. So it's time to do some math. Let's hope we do it right. Coming back over into Papyrus now, I need to grab up a lot of more obsidian for this one so we can actually make this thing happen. But if you're unfamiliar with how to link up nether portals, let's do a super, super quick tutorial on this one. All you got to do is go to one of your nether portal locations that you have. In this case, I'm using the overworld ones because I care about more about where the are are positioned. Click F3 to pull those things up there. And what you're looking at is the coordinates right here and the coordinates right there. And if you walk right into this guy, you can take a screenshot with it with F2 and then you divide those by eight. Or if you're like me and you don't like to uh, do math yourself, there's a lot of websites that can do it for you. And we put a portal in the nether at negative 241, negative 186. It'll link up to here. You could ignore the Y. So I'm gonna put them basically to the roof of the nether and call it good from there. Just grabbing the last nether portal location that I need and we are all good to go. I've got a lot of obsidian on me and I probably should get a lot more shulker boxes on me because we're going to be filling up a lot of stuff with netherrack as we build all of these tunnels. And that's something that I kind of want to keep to smelt down into nether brick for a project later on. I think could be very, very useful to have a lot of it and it can be kind of a pain in the butt to gather up. So folks, without any further ado... For the first time in today's episode, let's go ahead and kick this off in a good old-fashioned time-lapse mode and set up our nether hub.
with my pickaxe here on its last legs, folks. Oh my gosh, have we cleared out a large space inside of the nether for the future nether hub. This project in here is going to be absolutely insane. I've got some great ideas for it. And first and foremost, I do have a safety helmet on. We are good to go for this one. Well, the thing we have to worry about here is the pigs themselves. And I got my infinity bow ready to go. But everything down to that portal right there, we got that one. We've got that one over there, which I believe is the guardian farm. And coming all the way over here, we've got, I don't really know which one that is. That might be the village. And then I think that's the Nordic village. And then heading off down that way, some other stuff. Finn, hello there, Mr. Piggy. I do not like you at all. Pigopolis aside, we've got everything cleared out up in here. We've got a few more places that still need to be open. Like coming back down here, we've got to go that way a good while. And fighting our way through the pigs uh, here again. These things are gonna be such a, at least there's no gas right now. Aren't you guys supposed to hunt them? Oh, they are. Oh, we gotta witness a hunt. We got the, no, I'm not, no, no, don't, don't. Yep, hunt, hunt, kill it, kill it, burn it, destroy it, kill it. Not me, not me, it, it, kill it. You guys gonna do the dance? Oh, it's only a chance for the dance. Good job, soldiers. Good job. Good job, men. We're best friends now because I'm wearing my safety hat. I know. Good job. Good job. Well done. These pigs are seriously causing some issues around here, folks. Oh my gosh, the piggies are actually helping me. Oh, I ran away. Why? Why? Woo! Oh no. All right, next one taken care of. But anyways, we've got to go all the way down there to our fantasy area, and that should be everything. And once we have all those defined, that's going to be the point where after that is all cleared out to this layer right here. It's time for TNT, hopefully flying machines. I'm waiting for this pig. I'm not, I'm not peeping this corner. I'm not, I've played some first person shooter games. I know that he's gonna be right. No, no, he ran far. Ooh, look at that guy. Ha ha, sucker. Anyways, after we clear out everything up here, we're taking it all the way down. I'm gonna use some TNT flying machines to clear it all. I've removed most of the netherrack and everything out of the ceiling here as well. And it's looking a million times better. And I'm so excited for this one. But folks, that's enough work on this project here for the day. It's going to be something that's going to be largely on streams for the next while. Because, well, I've got a lot of places to clear out here. But let's jump over to the docks like we've been planning on building. Woo! Moving over to the city now, folks. And first off, one, if the audio sounds a little bit different than this last few clips, it is so hot outside right now i am melting in my office so i've turned my fans up pretty much all the way to try and at least get some air moving and uh well i'm, I'm not turning them down so this is what we're going to deal with in number two for those nether clips i decided to do a little bit of extra video editing for them to make them a little bit brighter and everything like that if you like that please be sure to let me know in the, in the comments below or if it was a little washed out or anything like that feedback would be very much appreciated for that but folks we are over here at the docks they don't really look like docks right now do they and that is because they're actually right over here. What we're gonna be working on today is gonna to be some dry docks. Basically the place where they would build boats inside of these giant pits in the ground and then use that as a way to more or less kind of get everything situated. And then they flood the area with water and those boats go sailing out into the ocean like that guy right over there. And I think it's gonna be awesome. I've got some great ideas that we can use for this one. This one's gonna be a little bit of a shorter one Then we're gonna have a larger one over there. And we're gonna make it look like some boats are being built up and everything like that. But we've got a lot of terraform we gotta do. We've got a lot of things we need to tackle. First and foremost, thankfully at least, we've got a few design, design decisions made for us already with how we are holding all of the walls back and everything like that for the terraforming wise. The end goal is to have them looking more like that. So I can kind of continue that design around here, bringing that straight down this way. And then I've got to do a lot of chopping at this point right down in here, which, wow, that got really washed out. Uh, there should be a conduit around here somewhere, which is kind of what I was using. And apparently we are floating right now, but we got to do that. I've got a lot of terraforming tackle. This hill needs to be brought down a lot. We've got to dig this whole thing out down here quite a lot. And I think, I think I'm gonna bring them all down to Y level 56 underneath. So folks, without any further ado of me blabbing on of how this thing's gonna work out here, let's go ahead and kick this off in a good old fashioned time-lapse mode and get some terraforming done.
I royally messed this one up here, folks. And uh, I, you know how I filled in dirt and grass along the entire top section? Well, for a docks area, it probably doesn't make sense to have, you know, grass going all the way down to the edge of the dock. So I've been coming back through here and replacing all of the grass blocks here with cobblestone. It's been very, very enjoyable. But anyways, this is the last little section right here. I think I'm going to also take like one, two, three, four, and five more blocks off the sides here. So we can have that going around. And then these base areas right here, I kind of want to curve them out a little bit further. So if we take this down to, uh, that was a little too low. We bring ourselves up like one, two, and then we go right there. And then we can bring this up one, two, and three. And then we can bring this up one, two, three, four. And then, oh wow, that's five right there. Wow, that is perfect. So we're going to do that on both sides. So it's going to be there and then there. And then I'll do that on the other one as well. And that should work out pretty well for us. And then uh, we get to come up with some gate designs for this thing. And I want to do uh, a few different things up here on the top. I think we're going to need a big old warehouse structure kind of stretching along the back here where they could store some goods. I left this part of the mountain up here a little bit taller because originally when I had made the plan for this city here, and I want to get your feedback on this one, is I had planned on kind of we have the mage castle right over there. I was planning on putting some sort of a guild or larger structure over here might have been like a jail or some sort of fortified area. I'm kind of thinking a merchant's guild could be really cool to own this entire area, like a merchant's palace of sorts. It would be really fun and kind of a fancy manor house style thing to build. So that could be something we could work on here. It would turn into a larger hill, kind of this whole area right here would turn into a raised up hill platform. Outside of that, I also want to be including some more cranes. So I've come up with this crane design right over here, which I really like. And I was thinking about for the larger one over there that we have of bringing this thing back in because it looks just heavy duty, right? It just looks totally heavy duty here. It could support a lot of stuff, move a lot of things around. So I think I'm going to build another one of these right over there on that far guy, right in like maybe in the center spot, actually, and have some way that it could. No, we'd have to have some way of that being able to flip, which just would not be able to happen. But anyways, that's some ideas I have right now. I'm going to get these base areas finished out inside of here and then get the front doors on these things. And I guess I got a little bit more terrain that I need to get rid of down here too, because this all needs to come down at least to this level right here. Fun. A lot of fun. Open the gate! But sir, they're Fortnite players. Close the gate! But they also like Minecraft and don't ask you to play Fortnite all the time. Okay, open the gate a little! And on that note, everybody, welcome on back to the newly improved docks area. I've been going absolutely crazy working down here, planning out things, getting things ready to go, and I am so very excited for the new builds coming in here. You can see I brought in a bunch of concrete powder, plan these entire areas out around here. We got a bunch of structures that need to be happening doing all that stuff and of course the gates are finished on both of them everything down here is detailed out textured out i even added in some dead coral fans and some dead coral blocks down there and it looks great so we got a little bit of andesite on the top maybe some areas where it's kind of scuffed up a little bit and then we got some mossy stone and some cobblestone and and over here is kind of the same thing it's just the smaller section with a smaller version of the gate and we've got these little turn silos here i figured you could have four people here like pushing like this way right here and that would somehow open the gate to go out there and then you to reverse it and bring it back in I don't really know, but that seems to make sense for me. Next thing that I got to get in here is I got to get in the ships themselves that are being worked on. And of course, those cranes, which I have decided we've got that one right there that we were previously talking about. I'm going to be fitting that guy in, I believe, right here. I think I spotted out enough space for it right there. Then we'll put a wagon or two back here, probably carrying some supplies and do the same thing on that side. And then I also would love to, in today's episode, be able to build up this storage room right here. Next episode, we'll probably come through and build up all these structures in the houses on this side of it, because this has been so much terraforming and everything so far. I'm loving this project here, folks. But just compare this to a few minutes before in the video before we did that time lapse. It is a million times different than that. And oh my gosh, I am ooh, missing the <laughs> trying to not chop our head off here. But oh my gosh, I'm so very excited to have this section of it done. Once that building that big structure on that island that I was talking about is finished up there too. That pretty much is the whole front waterway on this side of the city is completed, which is absolutely absurd to think about. Quick little bit of an update right here is this boat is now in place and I've realized I made a massive, massive mistake that is not fixable at this point is this is an even width across here and boats typically go along an odd width, of course, for them. So it's off center. And I did the same thing right over there. 
But on top of that, I got the two cranes in here and actually brought in some chains instead of what we had before. And I decided instead of the iron blocks, because I need to save a little bit of iron for myself, I brought in some of our polished basalt. I kind of wish I'd use regular basalt, like looking at these right now. But I ended up just doing two of them. So we got the same one right here and we got the same one right there. And then got some of our new dark oak crates over here with the note blocks where we go boo 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 and we are right there to the dark oak ones and on top of that we got a little bit of a cart here that is inspired by admirales mc over on instagram they have a similar one like this i really really enjoyed the front bit of it so i kind of did that and then turned the back into my own design and use that there but i've got to build up this little guy right here so i'm gonna get that one in place and then we get the final thing which we will time lapse out afterwards of building out that big guy I've slowly come to the realization that I'm absolutely just addicted to building in this world again, so I just keep doing bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger projects for a single episode. I thought the map room was insane. I'm almost twice the number of hours I put into the map room as I am into doing this one. And this has been block breaking and placing the entire time, but let's do more. And there we have it folks, a little bit of a mess of a smaller boat that's actually more in progress than the other one. It's, <laughs> it needs to be a few blocks longer, I think, but it's, it's a work in progress, right? It doesn't have to be perfect yet. And what I was thinking, we could come down here and start putting a mast on this one to make it look like they're actually trying to, you know, make this into a boat that'll sail out of here. And I feel like this is probably a good height for the mast there. So we'll just leave that like that and make the jump over here. That's enough of little stutter cut clips throughout this entire area, building up all this stuff. I'm super happy with it so far, but I think what we do here to finish off the video for the day is we kick this off in a good old fashioned time-lapse mode and build up our warehouse. And there it is right there, folks. And that is looking pretty fantastic. I really like this one. I like all the leaves, the little tiny windows scattered around, making it a little bit not super repetitive everywhere because we got the extra little windows right in there. Sometimes on the sides, we got the extra bonus ones right in here. And it's a little bit of a similar style to what we did on that guy, obviously different roof style. And I wanted to try bringing in the Blackstone. I did this on my starter house that I made over in the new area on the Legacy SMP. And I really liked having the polished Blackstone as a trim. So I kind of kept without it again. And inside of here, we've got a big open area. I'm planning this guy right here would be a staircase going up to the second floor where we can get up there. And I tried to make the the floor as thin as possible to make it feel as large as we possibly could make it down here which is why we just have trap doors for the ceiling and it is looking pretty fantastic i think in one episode we made it absolutely massive change to our city right here but folks i'm way out of time for this one i'm supposed to be recording smaller videos to be able to go out of time earlier and i just realized that has post to hold that up this one does not it's currently a floating boat huh well it's a magic boat no, I'm kidding. I'll come in here and fix this one here soon. I just don't have the things on me right now. But anyways, everybody, thank you all so very much for watching. Please be sure to click that like button down below if you did enjoy today's video. Click that subscribe button if you're brand new. And folks, I will catch you on the flip side.